The, uh, the project started off, uh, I believe, in 2008 uh, when Carmela Zocco contacted me, uh, basically on the basis of a project we did in the United States called Alpha Z. And Alpha Z was a meticulously built mahogany boat that was done in the retro style of very modern but yet uh, overtones to the classic. And I think that attracted to him, uh, him to us uh, for this project. And then also I think Carmelo was uh, accustomed to uh, our racing experience in Italy where we had run uh, many championships in the offshore catamarans. And so the, the boat actually carries uh, quite a few derivatives of both the Alpha Z and our racing boats. Uh, the design was uh, a carryover from the Alpha Z to put into production uh, sort of the line that was established with that boat. But then one of the main emphasis was to do a convertible top uh, full standing uh, sport boat. I think the aesthetic of race boats uh, which is boats that look like they're moving even when they're still, uh, can be carried into the aesthetic of pleasure boats. And, and that was one of the original briefs, is that the boat be very unique and the boat be very uh, modern, uh, but take advantage of the modern materials, the modern propulsion, and the modern line. I no longer travel to uh, uh, supervise projects while they're under construction like I used to in the past. So actually the unveiling of the boat here in Monaco is also the first time I've seen the boat. And one of the concerns that we always have is that when a private person steps forward to do a project like this, whether or not they have the infrastructure uh, and the people that it takes to pull it off. And I'm absolutely amazed. I'm absolutely amazed at the quality. And really, uh, when you have a design uh, to begin with, you see a vision of what it should be. And your heart always sinks when it falls below that. And it's wonderful to come and see a project that's everything is good, if not better, than what you imagined.